Hi, welcome to Human Biology. This is going to be an online course, but I'm hoping to make some videos for you. And this is the first time I've done this, so bear with me as I uh, get introduced to the videos. So I'm Dr. Anderson, and I've been here at Mount Aloysius for about 12 years. And I've taught Human Bio uh, just about every fall semester and online. This will be the third time online. So today what I wanted to do was get you introduced to the course, think about the materials that you'll need, and uh, take you through the syllabus. So if you get your syllabus and your textbook, we can get started. On your syllabus, you'll find my contact information. And please, don't be afraid to contact me. You can call me, you can email, you can even send me a text. I might not reply if it's 2 o'clock in the morning. But feel free to contact me, because this is your course, and I want to make it uh, what you need from the course. This is human biology. So what we'll do in this course is take a survey of the human biological systems, starting with atoms and working our way up through into the organ systems of humans. And so to do that, we need a, a few items. We need a textbook. And the textbook is the 12th edition of Human Biology by Sylvia Mater and Michael Windelspett. And if you have an older edition, that will be perfectly fine. You can use an older edition of the textbook. You can buy it from the bookstore. You can buy it from your best friend, whatever you want to do uh, for the textbook. You also need, though, a Connect Access. So we do have those bundled at the bookstore, and you can access um, the text and Connect together, or you can get Connect separately. But you have to have Connect because I use that for some testing purposes and homework. So you'll need to have that access. And if you have questions, again, contact me or the bookstore, and we can get you um, set up with those. The ISBNs are on the syllabus, which is in Blackboard. And you can access that at any time. Before I get into the details of the lab components and the course itself, I wanted to introduce myself to you so you have a sense of what my background is and my experiences are. I've um, actually grown up in Pennsylvania, so when I was a child I was at uh, Bedford County. If you're familiar with Chestnut Ridge High School, that's what I attended. And I was always interested in science, but I wasn't sure what my interests were. I knew I was interested in biology. So I did an undergraduate degree. and. It was a four-year institution, very similar to Mount Aloysius, very student-oriented, and during that time I became very interested in plant biology, and one of my instructors suggested a course or a, a program in plant pathology. And many of you may not know what plant pathology is, but it's diseases of plants. And I did a master's degree at Clemson University, and while I was at Clemson, I really enjoyed the coursework, but I also got a chance to teach. And so during that time, I decided I really wanted to pursue a PhD and go on and, and do teaching at the college level. So I was still interested in plant pathology and found a program at Penn State. I think some of you may have heard of Penn State before. And I did my PhD at Penn State. And when I was finishing up, I started looking. And it was just a perfect fit here at Mount Aloysius because it was microbiology, it was human biology. And um, I was really excited to have the opportunity to teach courses that I liked and interact with students. So at that point, online coursework wasn't really popular uh, when I came to Mount Aloysius. And during the time I've been here, I've taught this class face to face. So I do have a lot of experience with the content. And then the idea came, well, maybe it's time to, to take this online and see if we can make this work. And this is the third time I've taught it online. So I'm hoping to kind of fill in some of the details that we might have missed the first two times. And I think the piece that was missing was a lab component. So your job, your job is going to be to kind of keep up with the syllabus. I'll post things to Blackboard. I'll send you email reminders. But what I'll need you to do is prepare reading the textbook, doing the online homework, and then you'll have an opportunity to do some lab components. And that will involve me doing some guided tours, so maybe showing you on a model where the, the parts of the system are, um, and then also maybe you doing some experiments on your own. So we're hoping that that adds an element for you that's a little bit more interactive and you get a little bit more of what it would be like in a true face-to-face -face experience, but in the comfort of your own home. You can do the experiments in your pajamas if you want to do that. Um, just a little bit more about my background. Um, I did study plant pathology, but along the way I did learn a, a lot of other biology and, and actually was able to help teach at Penn State in the introductory biology series. And so what I like about our college is that instead of having 900 people in a lecture hall, uh, we only have 20, or in this case, really a one-on-one -on -one relationship with students. And I really enjoy that. I think that's what's really valuable and helps you learn 
the most. Um, but of course, I do have a life outside of school. And I have an eight-year-old son who keeps me busy. And my husband and I have a, a garden and I'm constantly convincing him to let me have animals. I have chickens, I want some goats, but I haven't won that battle yet. So if you have any good arguments for me, please feel free to share those. And we live over in Blue Knob, Pennsylvania. So we, we do some skiing, but not that's not really why we're there. Um, it's just a good location for us. And we like hiking and, and that sort of thing. So that's just a little bit about me. And I am available on campus. I want you to always feel free to come and visit my office. I'm in Pierce Hall. Uh, we're videotaping this in Pierce Hall. And my office is 209. So please feel free to make an appointment and come and visit me if you have questions or concerns about the course.